It's Madden NFL 22, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Lions and the Dirty Birds coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Detroit Lions and the Atlanta Falcons. Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week, and this one is underway here on EA Sports. Fielded just outside the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. And I liked what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, he's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, talking about ordering dinner, ordering I was snacks. just going to say. That's, that's where I go. Now a first down throw, Kelly. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. And that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Second down at four. Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Kelly. Over the middle complete, it's Thompson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. three or four inches here on third. And the good play callers have looked at both situations. They thought to themselves, okay, this call, I pick up the first down, already ready with that call. If I don't, this is what I'm going to come back with in order to pick it up. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. They end up getting stumped twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage if he breaks through it's nothing but room to run here comes the lions punter now as he's on to kick it away and that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback so here come the falcons now to get the football for the first time and leading them, Charles, their quarterback, their field general. And what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice, the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. All the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him. You can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him. First carry of the ball game now, it's C.J. Anderson. And they're gonna stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. 
Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. be accepted of course and that moves him back five and now after the delay of game they're operating behind the stick second and 15. From the gun, it's far. He finds his man complete. It's Gonzalez. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now far. Got his man, that's the pro bowler, Julio Jones. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Only needing two yards on second down. They give it to Anderson. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Here's Farb to throw. Complete to Jones. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And the hitch route has run really well. That jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space. All you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. First down, here's the run with Anderson. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. No score after one on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. From the shotgun, it's far. He finds his man complete. It's Gonzalez. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 16. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now Anderson running right. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. 
And that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line of running game imposing its will. Four yards remain on second down. Ball on the 10. To throw is far. A dump off to Anderson. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Go! Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. First and goal from the three. They'll run for it with Anderson. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. Down at the two. Broke through the first contact, but ultimately stopped short of the goal line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. A great play there. There to make the grab. And they are able to strike first here on the opening drive. That's why you've got your star out there throwing the ball to him. They do it. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. It's good, and that gives the Falcons a 7-0 lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. Result and Atlanta touchdown. a return from just beyond the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Sanders to begin the drive. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down and eight. A play fake. Now Kelly. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the side. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings out third down on the side. Well, on that one, they, they go with the 
They think CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop with the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Now Kelly. And that is incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. Here comes the Lions punter now. Standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. Fast footwork by Sanders. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. And they had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try to cut down the length of the drive. Very good starting field position for the Falcons offense as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Here's Anderson as they begin this series on the ground. And he'll wind up picking up about four as that is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches. Two-minute drill. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Favre. Throw right side is hauled in by the tight end, Gonzalez. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Throwing is far. A lifeless one, and that's going to be intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Lions are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And in a spot like this, still more than a minute, I think if you put something on the board before halftime, that would go a long way towards helping them get back into the game. There actually is something to the psychology of the game at times, isn't there? How much better would they feel running into the locker room, as you noted, with something on the board in a positive fashion? You're exactly right. It's a great opportunity to get that done. On first to 10, Kelly. Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. A hole to dig out of here. Second and 17. Another try after the first down sack. Kelly. And a quick shuffle pass here is complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. 
The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Five men in the secondary now for the Falcons on third down. Kelly. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the gun, Kelly. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Throw again on second down. Kelly. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see. Yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Field strike, they'll look to throw. He's got it complete to Thompson. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brings up second and a yard. At the Falcons, 41 yard line. So we've reached halftime with just the lone touchdown here. 7-0 is our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Lions. And they did not do much at all in terms of throwing the football in those first two quarters. That's going to need to improve if they want to erase this deficit. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, they had a little more success than their counterparts did in the passing game, as evidenced by the numbers there. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. football as the second half gets underway and this will not be returned so the second half begins with a touchback and the Falcons ready to go back to work to start the third quarter a tale of two extremes already in this game a touchdown pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out now it sounds like things balance out right what's that, that mythological thing that we do if you have a candy bar have a diet soda with it it balances it out and we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. First and 10, it's far. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. 
Boy, that conversion comes with a high degree of difficulty, especially on the catch. Had to look that one in one-handed, able to do so, and ends up picking up a first down as well. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's a give to Anderson. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Three yards remain for second down. They run it again with Anderson, and no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They'll run it. Here's Anderson. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49 yard line. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll make it a second down. Good, sure hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he's able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? Second and five. He'll look to throw. The left side completion to Jones. And defensively, they were in zone covers there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. That's gonna set him back five yards. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game, first and 15. They'll drop to throw. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. That's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Behind the sticks here with a second and 15. And they go play action with Farr. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Gonzalez. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big play that time through the air. 31 yards. I think it's about time I took my eyes off of the secondary or the guys with the football. How about the offensive line on that snap? They took care of business. Absolutely. And when he can stay in the pocket like that, you're going to get big plays like we just saw. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. 10th carry now for Anderson. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. 
Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. Second down, far. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones there to make the grab. And the Falcons take the opening kickoff in the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than it. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Now the try here for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that drive goes for 80 yards in 10 plays. And the Falcons score to cap it off. Too deep, here comes a return. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Scrimmage the 15. It's first and 10. A handoff to start the drive. The Sims. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. What a dimension this man brings to this defense. He had his mind set there that he was going to get in and make that tackle. He really flew to the football. Yeah, this defense as a whole has really been flying to the football all game long. They have not allowed too much of anything. And here's another example. A great play there to get in and disrupt it before it could get going. And the final number here in terms of the top speed that he hit, absolutely absurd. Next Gen Stats has him at better than 23 miles an hour on that one. Again, they run with Sims. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, not much in the running game. And this won't help things either. A loss on that play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Kelly. 
Left side here to Sanders. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. out on this third quarter of play. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Lions trailing, but with possession of the football as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. First down throw, Kelly. And that's complete to Sanders. And he loses the football a second time. Offensively, they're just not playing a very clean football game right now. This deficit, there was a fumble. Good news for them, at least. That went out of bounds. You're exactly right. And as they breathe a sigh of relief, you know they're looking at the scoreboard, thinking to themselves, if we turn it over there, things could really get rough for us trying to make a comeback in this game. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Play action. It's Kelly. Here's Johnson with a reception. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 41-yard line. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. To throw, Kelly. He's got Thompson here, complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a count or two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. On second down now, it's Sims. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back out. Here's Kelly. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Going for it with Sanders. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To throw his far. Oh, now it's stripped. He loses the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Fortunately for him, that ball stayed close so that he could recover it on his own. And you know the prayers that were going through his head as the ball escaped from him? 
<laughs> How happy was he at the end of it when he found the football again, able to retain possession? After the sack here, second and 11. Now Fard. He finds his man complete. It's Haynes. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Come on! Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Here's five to throw. And it's nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. How good has he been throwing the football, though? And despite that incompletion, that's just the third time he's been off target this entire game. And Brandon, I've been on the other side of this equation, trying to defend a guy who's been this hot, and it chips away at your confidence. And when you're not confident when you're trying to defend, it makes you slower to the football, and it leads to more completions for them. On second down, Anderson. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. He'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Now, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. So out now comes the field goal unit for the Falcons. This to make it a three-score game late. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here. But I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden, it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a, a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. And they get him down. But not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. On first down, it's Kelly. 
Looking sideline, incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan, and especially the execution. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Here's Kelly to throw. Quick slant, caught by Moore. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. See an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. Out of the gun, it's Kelly. He wants it all for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. They'll run it with Sims going absolutely nowhere. They'll wind up losing a yard or two. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. They'll try and wind down some clock here with Anderson. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Again, Anderson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 48 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Effort of meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him. And let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. So from the 36 now, first and 10. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons, and they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I mean, uh, did know. enough, though. Did enough. But yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys are nails out there.